Cody J Snacks here. I know that most of y'all are not familiar with my voice at all, but through my two Attack on Titan playthroughs, I've gotten a lot of questions about the general game. So I figured that I'm gonna, like, depending on how well it does, I was thinking about doing a series where I kind of go more in depth of the game so you guys kind of understand. Like the mechanics, the controls, what gear you should use, you know, all that. So for this first Attack on Titan Guide episode, I think it's very important that I can cover like the controls and my setup and the base mechanics. So right here we're doing the very first Attack on Titan mission, the 104 Cadets. And this really just teaches you the basic controls, which if you're a new player you're going to have to do regardless. Teach you the base mechanics of firing, like your anchors, moving dashing around the map so i highly recommend recommend you do this mission if you're new but you're gonna have to regardless so but this mission my problem it doesn't like there's a lot of confusing controls in the game and most people don't use the default controls which i feel like people don't realize so we're gonna get to the target area and i'm gonna show you my controls so right here so if you're on well, if you just bought the game and you're on default controls, let's go controls here. Your default swing button, I believe, is going to be Y. And then RT is going to be your sneak attack. I personally don't like that setup. I think the right trigger is a lot better for your swing movement. Because if you have your button as Y, you're going to have to constantly switch fingers just attack Titans. And I think the right trigger is a lot more comfortable. You can press your to it. You just see where um, I think you're using, you know... So I highly recommend you do that. I just left everything else the same. If we go here. See everything's the same. My attack is X. And my swings RT. So if we go here we can see it's a lot more easier just to uh, swing around and all that. And it's easier to attack. Now another thing if you're in default settings. Your attack isn't going to look like that. Mine's like that. Um, the default settings, it gives you slow motion during battle on. I personally don't like this, so I'm going to show you. I was going really fast. Now when I do this, I go really slow. Like, my attacks don't uncover. I speed into the tight ends incredibly slow. So again, you can just see. We'll go right here. This is with slow mo on. Now if we go here, turn it back off, you can see it's just a lot more quicker. You recover from your attacks quicker. I know some people like the slow-mo thing, just because I guess it's more like flashy. I personally don't. Just because I feel like it slows you down, I feel like it's kind of unnecessary to have. Once again, this mission right here, tell you about the base mechanics of the game, makes it really simple. This. Like I said, I'm just going to cover the settings and the basic controls. Not really going to go in depth. But these yellow circles right here, those are critical hits, which will do more damage if you hit them. So if you can, uh, definitely go for those instead of just hitting the regular nape. Because it'll do a lot more damage, especially later on in the game. Just wait for Keith to finish talking. We'll do this real quick. Now you can see with it off, I made more Titans quick than with it on. And then with my swing movement being right trigger instead of that default control, it makes it a lot easier to maneuver around the map as well. So once again, I highly recommend you put those settings on. It'll just make your life a lot easier. Here. You see, as you can see, I'm really just going through these times like it's nothing. <coughs> Got stuck in the tree. Let's see, we're already tied up with Reiner now. And past Mikasa. 
こういうのって燃えますよねまるで狩りみたいです And then those yellow critical hits, they're not going to do anything on these Titan dummies, like I said, in regular missions. It'll do a lot more damage against those Titans, especially later on because the Titans gain more health. You see, we really just swept that mission. Simple. We got first place, killed all the Titans really within a minute and a half, probably. To that, it's once again why I recommend. Should definitely take that slow mo setting off. I understand that some people might like it, but I just don't think it's worth it. I feel like it hinders you more than actually helps you. I personally don't think it looks that good. I think it just, I don't know, it just kind of hurts my head looking at it constantly. So let's wait for Keith to finish talking. See, we got S rank play in three minutes. Simple. The fighting's you like a minute. So we'll go here. Then we'll go back to the scout headquarters and I'll show you my settings one more time. Alright. Now once again, I personally leave all these default, I don't like the control assistance, core levels of vibrations, controversial for many people. That's up to you. I personally just keep it on. I know a lot of people do take it off because there's a lot of vibration in this game. So if you don't like it, definitely would take it off just because everything you do has some type of vibration going on. Then mini map, I leave all these the same. Just leave, I leave the tiny dis I don't think, I think it's off default and might be on. I personally don't like it. I think it's just unnecessary. Um, the site lock, I definitely have nape only on. Once again, that's, you know, up to you. The item window displays like your gear and all that. And then um, gas and blades like your first category. I definitely recommend keeping those on. The damage tank thing, it really just tells you how much you do per attack. That's up to you. I like having it on just because it goes away quickly. Um... If you have the final battle DLC, you'll most likely, um, you'll have the firearms too. I rarely use firearms. I don't like them really. I think they're kind of weak. But it's the same controls really for me. I have excess attack like I do for the blades. And then for swing movement, I have right trigger. It's going to be, um, the default controls like closer blades. But I recommend you switch that as well. Then camera speed, all of this is, you know, up to you. I have it on default. I think I have the camera speed a little bit higher than default. And then audio, that's really up to you. So the big things I would change is just your slow motion and then the controls. I think right trigger and then X. Um, I think it's square and then R something R2. PlayStation. So yeah, I'll definitely put those on. And then you'll be... 10 times it makes the game so much more easier and you can just do a lot more so yeah do that and then if you have any questions let me know and then we'll discuss a different topic next time but that's really all just for setting